Welcome back everyone to the channel for another video. This is Q50Beast. Today we'll be taking a look at the 2021 McLaren 765LT. This car is track ready straight from the factory. I mean, look at this thing. Look at these lines. You can tell it's built for speed. Uh, this is a GT car. This is an amazing, an amazing machine. I love the lines. It looks really, really good. It looks very close to the 720. Um, it's just an amazing car, but we're not going to track this thing. We're going to put it on the drag strip. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to make this thing fast. All right, let's get into it. All right, going over to the conversions, there is no engine conversion. So we left this thing rear wheel drive, heading over to the engine components, the intake. We made it a race intake, race fuel system, race ignition, race valves, race pistons, race twin turbo, race intercooler, and a race flywheel so we can get those gears shifted quickly. Springs, we left the stock springs, no rally suspension, nothing with the chassis reinforcement and a full weight reduction. Look how low that car looks. All right, we did a race transmission, race drive line, race differential. All right, going over to the tires, we're gonna do drag tires for this drag build. Uh, we did nothing with the front tire width and the rear we extended it all the way to 345s choose the lightest wheels we picked these thought they looked nice on the car and they're pretty light we did nothing with the front tire and the rear wheel we made it a 21 went all the way wide with the track width in the front and the rear oh man this thing looks good all right with the arrow we did nothing in the front and nothing in the rear Left it stock. Look at those full exhaust. All right, for the tires, 31 and a half in the front and 15 in the rear so we can get the power now. All right, so we had to have that 15. All right, gearing, 224 final drive, 4.01 first gear, 2.85 second gear, 1.90 third gear, 1.44 fourth gear, 1.15 fifth gear, 0.95 sixth gear, and 0.80 for the seventh gear. Nothing with the alignment. Anti-roll bars, we didn't touch. Remember, this is a track car. We didn't touch it. Nothing with the springs, nothing with the ride height. Left it stock. All right. Rebound stiffness, we didn't touch. Remember, this is a track car. It's built perfectly from the factory. There's nothing we need to do. Nothing with aero, brake, or differential. Here's the share code if you're interested in this tune. It's a simple launch. And we are off to the races. Look at this thing shoot out, no spinning. This thing gets up and down the track. It is a rocket. Look at how we're going through the gears very smoothly. 205.26 and a half mile. And here's what the car looks like inside. Pretty McLaren-like. I love the details. Love the texture. And this is what it sounds like. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty McLaren-ish. <laughs> All right. This is how it sounds to launch from inside the car. It's a really, really good sounding car. Great car. It's, it's, it's straight as an arrow. It's, it's nice. All right, so we'll put this thing in a quarter of a mile and see what we can get out of it. Simple launch again. Look at those quad exhaust. And we are off to the races. Little, little hiccup in first gear, but we got through it. And look what we're able to put down. 179 greater than. All right, and this is what the car looks like when we leave. It's planted. It's smooth. It's, it's a nice car. I just love the way this thing looks. And I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. If so, please comment in the section below. Please like, share, and subscribe. This is Q50 Beast. Peace out.